uh, idea to which drugs should be prescribed and which should not. Uh, even the COVID is a very broad term, among the drugs are yet to be discovered or explored more. Uh, effective So I think it's a very good topic to talk about. So let's just start. So background uh, because uh, we know what COVID is and what it's doing to everyone. Um, nearly the death, thin luck cross corrigate, which is really scary, among the death rising every day. Abong uh, stable I think we are in the plateau phase, but it can spike up any time. And Bangladesh, I think the surge has just started and it will go and on and on. It depends on how we as a whole, as a human, as a as a citizen, we react to this. So we should be very careful. So virology, so we know what is coronavirus. So the name corona comes uh, comes as a like because it looks like a crown corona means crown uh, and the covid is like coronavirus induced disease so if we break it down so latin corona for co then v for virus and d for uh, disease so it's a rna virus envelope virus and all that shot of uh, strain i said the last three has caused havoc in the world so there's mars sars covid into the and uh, novel covid in 2019 so the main presentation is respiratory infection or respiratory tract symptoms. Um, and like any COVID virus or motor, any coronavirus or motor, it presented as the same, but as we're discussing, it has some other manifestations as well, uh, which we'll see in, uh, in our ongoing slides. So this is the viral structure. It has some structure, non-structural protein, basically the structural and non-structural protein will be they're doing all these damages. They are attaching to the cells, getting into replicating themselves and then coming out and producing more disease and inflammation. So molecular basis of transmission is a broad term, but I'm mean, just very quickly to touch cobalt just because we need to understand at what stage the drug is acting. So I think it's a very good, uh, it's an important slide as well. So this is a paper on uh, one of few Indian uh, doctors, uh, I mean, the microbiologists, they worked on the drug targets of corona. Uh, so, I mean, it's like the DSA just to uh, show the target sites in the presentation. Basically, all the body compartments we have, it can affect uh, this virus. However, the root of entry is a respiratory entry, uh, but at the primary site, let's say lung, and gut. So that's why the most common presentation is respiratory syndrome or GI symptoms. However, it, uh, it can spread through sweat, stool, urine, and other secretions. Like every body cavity with every hole, it has secretion. It, ha it, can, it can get corona. And uh, it, uh, it, it affects all the system of our body, including the immune system as well. So we'll see afterwards. So this is just a quick summary of the of how it how it infects the cell. So at the main target was here, angiotensin converting enzyme, and they have a particular affinity to type two receptors. So there is two type of receptor for angiotensin converting enzyme, type one and type two. So type one is vasodilating and type two is vasoconstricting, and that's how uh, uh, they have the affinity to type two, and that's how they cause pro-inflammations and uh, pulmonary vascular uh, constrictions, and that's how they present with all this. And they have uh, also a nature of this type two uh, receptor. They have a nature to, uh, is like pro-atherogenic. So this is a few things. Uh, so I mean, Eglote Bishi Barabona, main thing is like they, they get into the cell, they come out and they do the damage. And uh, classically, uh, coronavirus uh, symptom so mild, moderate, severe, and critical. Critical means like ARDS, that's the last stage, but depending on the situation. But however, if someone comes to the hospital with any mild symptom, I think we should treat them as a severe and like we should not take any chance on that. And this is a very important term, cytokine storm. 
because uh, coronavirus main um, presentation or main characteristic which it affects the immune system and how like it exaggerates the immune response and there's a massive release of cytokines. Um, I'm going to detail a step This is basic microbiology, but basic immunology basically. And the main thing is that they induce a lot and lot of secretion uh, release of cytokines and thereby they reactivate themselves and causes more tissue damage. It's affecting all the systems because it's in the blood, it's in the immune system. So from the cerebral neural, uh, neural cells till the vascular, small blood vessels is affecting everything. And this is just a present uh, picture of how the virus is releasing. And I mean, you talked about the Islam, the cytokine storm. So cytokine storm is an important factor because um, this exaggerated cytokine release, in fact, they reactivate macrophage. And this, these are kind of uh, mutated macrophage. And this macrophage, they cause a severe damage uh, uh, of all the systems. So there's a term called uh, hemophagocytic syndrome or hemophagocytic lymphohistiocytosis. For COVID, we found it as a secondary presentation. There's primary cause, we should not go there, but the secondary cause is COVID is one of the many causes. But the other autoimmune causes are separate. So the thing to remember is macrophage activation. And um, so there's a scoring uh, that we are adopting right now. I think it's, it's worldwide uh, adopted system right now, age scoring. So this uh, scoring system gives you an idea how bad the cytokine storm or how uh, how early you need to intervene in case of like controlling this immune uh, response. So this is very basic thing. Like you have to see the temperature clinically. Uh, we do a cytokine panels, but I think Bangladesh data cut to Kalajai. But TG we can easily do it. Fibrinogen we easily do it. Ferritin if high ferritin is a high indicator of like excessive tissue damage and ferritin release. Uh, we can do a liver function test and bone marrow, I'm right kind of commonly corona, but you can do it just for the scoring purpose and whether they have any immune suppressed condition or any drugs. So if the score is pretty much above 170 or 80, we take it as a very serious type of cytokine release or immune response and we intervene. So there are other ways uh, we'll discuss it further. Keep having the immune modulate Okay. So yeah, the so terms to remember is cytokine storm, microphase activation syndrome, and hyperinflammation syndrome and all that. So how to treat COVID? So COVID is a viral infection, right? So it presents as a common flu. So if someone has a common flu, and if they are not deteriorating from their current condition, I think we can, bit, uh, I think we can treat them a bit easily. Uh, I thought are aggressive now, but we have to monitor how they're behaving. It is really thoroughly deteriorate. We should have a very low threshold for hospital admission, even for a, a critical care admission and intubation. Uh, but we have to bear in mind how, what COVID can do to us. So we have to bear in mind and we have to treat accordingly as a physician or as a human as well. So for the treatment, uh, so COVID is a specific treatment guideline that is published now. However, worldwide, on a clinical trial, depending on few drugs. Like you get I mean, I can I can see that. You get the currently trial, that's a recovery, remap, ACGT, release trial. Our other hospital, uh, we are covering recovery trial now, uh, based on our other, because, uh, we don't have a clear idea as well. So we are kind of randomizing selecting these patients. So I'm uh, conduct a trial that they book on outcome. So outcome I can report published, but physically we can see which drug is kind of working or not. Uh, but yeah, so this is the drug. So I, uh, I'm at the link there. So if you want, you can see WHO website, take a, a trial. 
So let's go to the specific drug treatments, the antiviral drugs. Um, it's, a, it's a viral uh, disease. Of course, antiviral is the most important. But interestingly, none of the antivirals we are using, uh, they have been successful in the labs, but uh, they have not been very successful in human body. But Kichu Kichu promising result, I said, at this result change, it, it varies. It, it has varied from hospitals to hospital, very, very from countries and all that. So I would say, I uh, have definite guideline, not a result is very promising. So let's go to our first group is uh, RNA dependent RNA polymerase uh, enzyme inhibitors. So a kind of pasture drug, specifically, I mean, mentioned Kotashai. Uh, already use remdesivir. Uh, function to RNA polymerase that bind corbe eventually virus replication to prevent corbe. So this is a paper. It uh, has an Egyptian paper, Egyptian microbiologist. Right? They they saw the what are the possible drugs that can act on COVID uh, or coronavirus. So you can see the green box. So a green box say basically or a molecular docking system course. Jeta hotsaje or a plate hotho COVID drugs or antibiotic drugs or virus drugs or dekha dekha saje kader binding force kotho to kubeshi. So dekha gaye saje je a pasta group jar modhe remdesivir ase so either binding capacity ta on a high. So that's how we got an idea. So maybe this is the drug we are looking for. But interestingly, the results are not that promising. But kitsu kitsu data as a So, uh, so double center in the polymerase inhibitor, prospector antibiotic. It is basically Ebola treatment use kora hoshle, Ebola outbreak jokhan hoshle. So it is part of ACTT trials. This is uh, one of the trials, but, uh, but FDA has approved it. Um, so, yeah, so uh, this is a clinical uh, review on remdesivir. Uh, uh, China, the Kotagula says Hubei's province, the Kotagula Agarota Hospital, or a two shot of patient to Rupore, or after clinical trial, Kota de Kase, even they over they just did the literature review. Even a Kanora Dahate Dahaloze. Even though the red missile group a death rate is a bit higher, but the viral discharge rate is very promising. Like after 28 or 14, 28 days a negative. Uh, so out of these two show patients, actually panno John Chilo negative. So 78% was negative at the eight at the day of 28 before starting uh, at start at the start point of the drug. So among hospital discharge is slightly variable, it's slightly better than the placebo group. So basically one group was placebo and one group was remdesivir. Among the remdesivir result is slightly better than placebo. Among the uh, both the Salam, the Atajin Pore, 78% patient either uh, viral shedding negative chilo, but placebo group around 53% patient negative chilo. So we still don't know whether what is the it was the remdesivir or it is a viral natural process data automatically shed out for guess. But bear in mind that this trial was done on non-intubated, not critically ill patient. So hello. So a graph that the world that said on the left side, we can see the lead missile group. It also basically the clinical outcome, like clinical parameter, whether different basis color that has a statistically is a bit different than the placebo group. And also on the right side, if you look at the B graph, the viral shading is kind of trending the same way, but remdesivir is slightly better. So we still not we're still not sure whether this is a drug or the natural history of the disease yet and virus shedding all right so next go next is our second drug is lopinavir ritonavir so this is the drug we are adopting at in our trust so randomizedly i'm the trial court to see patient i'm the patient okay so it's an antiretroviral HIV treatment that you use. So this is a protease inhibitor. 
so protein inhibitor function to uh, inhibit kore tara enzyme viral complex to prevent korte se that's why immature viral cell production hotse and why two drugs because the main drug is the lopinavir but the ritonavir it potentiates the function of lopinavir so that's why it's two drugs ebong uh, eta kichuta success ache ebong that's why who take a second line treatment diyeche but uh, however uh, so I'm um, this is a French paper. So if I need a try to shoot a patient to report uh, a literature review of the court. So or a decade a honey the mortality rate at 28 day mortality Lopin of group is significantly lower than the normal non Lopin of group. So if you can see I'm making a yellow mark is 14 in Lopin of group and 25 out of 100 patients in uh, non lopinavir group ebong ekhane ekta jinish important je 12 days of symptom er age er moddhei tara drug ta shuru korche so that's how that's why they managed to get a better outcome but uh, yet it is debatable because the uk papers the uk researchers say something different because i think it's not uh, the results are not promising in that type but if an actor factor important, the age file talk or a non critically ill, non intubated patient report. So, so we kind of don't know the balance of this outcome. So, still, I don't know if this drug could like a guideline in an era, a clinical trial, because we're still working on it, we're still finding out the results. And this is another drug, Fabipiravir. So, it all has a red misivir motto. Actor drug, it's uh, effective against influenza, Ebola. It's a very good result. So, like, if you look at the fourth point, uh, that has a non intubated patient, there's significant change in the chest x ray than non fabiparin uh, patients. Also, the effective uh, half concentration on day 18 was m much better than the lopinavir group. So, you know, it's a bit of a de uh, debate. But Actor study report based on the other study of both such and this plus group there is no significant change, so that's why still under, uh, you know, under trial part of the under that study. So, um, uh, it is basically the chart. I mean, just a bold one. The lopin of group is that compare to the even that has such a, uh, lopin of group is that their outcome is much better. Okay, and uh, that is uh, clinically uh, they are far better than uh, lopinavir group. So recommendation: What do I recommend? What are we doing? Um, other actually, kind of recommendation, I don't guideline specific nine. But jada uh, hote if you think it, it's most mostly practitioner based. I mean, Bangladesh kotha bolte si. Uh, because Amra Ekhane Kono trial child a new drug, we are not licensed to use it. So if we want to use it, it has to be licensed, otherwise it has to be come through a clinical trial. In the Bangladesh, if you want, uh, you can uh, it depends on you whether you want to start or not. Even uh, there's a good idea to after a niche demo to randomized trial correct parents. So for like if you have 10 patients. Dita dita patient ke apne ra ek group ke din group ina fir ek group ke return of dilen ek group ke kichhu dilen na and you compare your own data and you, I think you can publish it and you can find out with a plan but from us we cannot recommend it yet because it is not in the guideline so yeah and act up kola hote je it has to start very quick I don't know how feasible it is because if patient kola hospital present ekor tese ba amader attention ne achse in a very later stage. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's still questionable how early can we start. But use your best clinical judgment and go along. Okay, so next comes the star drug. It's a hydroxychloroquine or a chloroquine. Answer. So this drug is a basically anti-malarial drug like we all know. Uh, but it, it has some immune suppressive effect. Did you know it? Uh, uh, rheumatoid arthritis is used for high. Among other autoimmune tissue diseases, use quite a high. So, because the the Chinese, there were a few Chinese papers. Jaranaki bolsa a hydroxychloroquine group where 
আউটকাম ইন কোভিড পেশেন্ট ওয়াজ রিয়েলি ইন এ প্রমিসিং এই জন্য এফ ডি এটাকে একটা ইমার্জেন্সি বেসিসে ওরা অ্যাপ্রুভ করছিল বাট লেটার দে হ্যাড টু রিমুভ ইট বিকজ দে ওয়াজন্ট অ্যানাফ ক্লিনিক্যাল এভিডেন্সেস অন দ্যাট সো but most uh, the but the chinese papers they have, they have always been very promising on this results and they have used it and the doses have been variable uh our mother trust is very different so we use 400 mg twice a day for one day then 200 mg for the next five days uh but it are uh, very particular so i think it's better to discuss with the local pharmacist jora should keep away dosing ta kora jay but just see bnf or to anything so either uh, a drug is a shubida shubida shabi access like we know all know data it could be because of uh, fatal heart failure because if someone has a prolonged qt syndrome or congenital inherited cardiac qt syndrome take can also affect the kidneys and the liver um uh, but uh yes so the antiviral effect of this drug is uh it actually ph to alter kore এবং পিএস অল্টার করলে এটার সাথে ফসফোলিপিড বা সেলমেমেনের সাথে ভাইরাসটাকে অ্যাটাচ করতে দিচ্ছে না দ্যাটস হাউ ইজ প্রিভেন্ট দ্য এন্ট্রি এন্ড অলসো ইট হ্যাজ সাম ইফেক্ট লাইক আদার ওয়ে লাইক আরএনএ পলিমারেজ নিউক্লিক অ্যাসিড এন্ড অল দ্যাট বাট দ্যাটস হাউ দে ওয়ার্ক মেইনলি ওকে সো দিস ইজ এ চাইনিজ পেপার এগেইন बेस्ड অন বেইজিং তো ওরা বলতেছে যে the longer the drug is in your system it can have a good effect on you like it has more antiviral effect but at the same time uh, it has a long term cytotoxic effect so uh, because the drug is concentration up into the bata tagte and uh, it has some immunomodulation effect uh, as well uh, interleukin 6 8 6 and 10 keta inhibit korte pare which is uh, important as well because you know like i told earlier it's a cytokine storm storming disease so we have to control the cytokine somehow uh it it became beneficial on that as well and um yeah our what says it immuno modulation korte se amra eta pore abar dekhbo so this is another this is a us us paper published in new england journal uh so hydroxychloroquine or a basically nearly 1500 patient report trial uh, uh, literature review course even they saw that the, there's no change uh, i'm like there's no significant difference in uh, in terms of like clinical progression or radiological so basically hydroxychloroquine group and non hydroxychloroquine group is there uh, difference now in case of uh, clinical improvement so this is the few papers that are like a catch course uh, i mean like kichu a clinical trial kichu result diyeche era je dekha geche je mortality uh, there is no difference in the mortality virus uh, neg- negative viral samples or swab among no clinical uh, change in fact 93% of the control group had negative results like done like a non hydroxychloroquine group so basically the result in fact is opposite but anyways uh this i'm like we can it's, it's still on clinical trial even we had yet to find out uh whether it's effective or not but amader kache mone hoyeche je from our center am bolte pari je eto kichu ta benefit amra peyechi but uh uh ekhano ekta factor ache because amader ekta ecmo center so amra ei patient gulo mostly dekha geche je ecmo te ache so ebong amra aro surplus change potro add korechi uh so we don't know sure we're not sure yet acha so next is the immuno modulation sorry the modulation spelling to bhul ache <laughs> anyway so uh immuno modulation we can do in many ways uh the classical way is to use steroids uh we can use uh Uh, interleukin blockers like any anakinna jeta ekhon amader amader ekta clinical trial e ache ekhon tocilizumab jeta nek already onek clinical trial e ache serilumab hydroxychloroquine uh, cyclosporine tacrolimus is a uh, transplant drug then ivig cyanokinase uh, pathway inhibitors and all that basically all these drugs uh, they are used in um, 
autoimmune disease or immune, immune complex disorders, even they are proven to be uh, very effective in uh, controlling immune uh, response. However, COVID is still, you know, debatable. Like, I mean, uh, for earlier uh, slide, they can um, age scoring. So age scoring is very important in this. So we have to calculate this age score and based on that, I want to decide which uh, type of immunomodulation we need to go. So I'm not just a court to see. I'm not, if we see uh, the age scoring is like around 200, I'm a steroid, the methyl prednisolone, or dexamethasone. Dexamethasone is part of our clinical trial. So if someone is in dexamethasone, I'm talking methyl prednisolone, but otherwise I'm methyl prednisolone. And also, uh, the 300 rupees, like, that's why I'm the invasive kind of like uh, um, plasma exchange, um, IVIG, cytosorb, even I'm the use of this. But the results are variable, patient depending on patients. Acha. So we always uh, before deciding, uh, we always have to uh, balance the risk and the benefit. I'm the patient, I'm the plasma exchange, or both. Steroid the way that are not beneficial, but risk harmful, because uh, you know we are all aware about complications of the steroids. Uh, you know, if you introduce someone to a broad spectrum immune suppression, they are going to generalize generalize uh, that they are immunosuppression. they are exposed to more opportunistic and infections. Uh, even I'm not taking another patient. They, Developed candidemia uh, with this immune suppression. either methyl prednisolone or whatever. They had IVIGs and all that. Eventually, they developed uh, um, candidemia. So we had to treat them on that. So So always assess the patient clinically. Always score them. Always see the bloods. Um, I know Bangladesh context uh, regular blood test quota is a bit difficult, but at least three day, uh, once in a three day or four days at a quota, just so you know, you have to follow up your patient and see if uh, the response to treatment of this and whether it's really effective or not. So this is a pre-published journal. It uh, has a uh, Chinese actor paper. Uh, sorry, it's not Chinese. I think it's, it's a Russian, uh, I'm sorry, but this is a paper. It, it's not been published yet, but they kind of worked on uh, the uh, immune response of different drugs. I'm just a bullet here, that has a tocilism up, first page of the tocilism up, there has traumatic improvement in their oxygen um, saturation and CRP. And interleukin one, anakinra, it all up near they managed to improve the patient clinically and also Janus and IVIG. So, but, uh, you know, these patients uh, are, you know, it, it differs from centers to centers and patients. I mean, Barbara both see because it's going to absolute result now. Amra how to follow out compared to how to other hospital result of outcome better now. So, you know, you always have to use your best judgment of the contra-introduced score band. But I think Bangladesh context uh, steroids is the most uh, accessible one, I think. Okay, uh, anticoagulation. This is important. Uh, another hospital, from our experience, on the is a J patient, Gula, in Ashlo. Nearly 85% of the patient, they had pulmonary embolism uh, at some sort of small, segmental, massive, whatever. But they had uh, pulmonary embolism. Um, if you look at the viral pathology, so, you know, when there's excessive, uh, you know, bone marrow activity, excessive activation of your inflammatory cytokines and macrophage, your blood becomes more viscous and they also, uh, you know, they reduce the laminar flow among uh, clotting pathway will activate eventually. So they are more prone to have microemboli and that's where come uh, your use of anticoagulation. Amadar Hospital, uh, we are in a privileged state to do CTPA because Amadar is a heart lung center. Easily, I'm not quote the party. But from Bangladesh context, CTPA is, I don't think it's possible everywhere, especially China, to remotely cut courts in Amadar. That is, you know, it will be really challenging uh, to arrange a CTPA, of course. So 
irrespective uh, amra suggest korchi amader hospital e even if we don't CT, uh, do a ctpa amra suggest korchi treatment anticoagulation either any form seta depend kore apnader upor amader ekhane classically amra use kori quexen pinoxaparin othoba kichu kichu center e uk te pinzaparin o use kore treatment dose but however it has to be a, a, a treatment protocol at least for first couple of weeks up and jokon dekhben je patient to clinically improve course then you can just go along with a prophylactic dose but at least they have to be on some sort of treatment and coagulation um among classically we are following up every day not every day every two days amra d dam amra dekhte see whether it's going up or down um ebong of course apnake you have to exclude the other cause of uh, high d dam as well this is not absolute but uh, some some sort of anticoagulation they have to be আপনি চাইলে আমরা গ্র্যাজুয়ালি কিছু কোশ্চেনও নিতে ওকে আমি কি বেশি টাইম নিচ্ছি নাকি শামিম নো ইটস অল রাইট লাইক আমরা মোটামুটি লাইক अराउंड 30 মিনিটস ক্রস করেছি ও সরি সরি আচ্ছা ইটস অল রাইট বাট আমরা মনে হচ্ছে আপনি অনেকগুলো মেডিসিন এর ব্যাপারে কভার করছেন যদি পার্টিসিপেন্টসরা এই হুম শিওর শিওর অফ কোর্স অফ কোর্স so just ami tar pore ektu shobar jonno jara pore join korechen tader jonno ami ektu bolte chaichhilam amra facebook live eo achi facebook live eo jara pore eshchen tader jonno amra janate chaichhilam je amader sathe achen dr samal shahjan uni uk te last 6 month dhore icu te kaaj korchen as a cardiothoracic surgeon so amra ei jonno onar experience to shunte chai ebong uni specifically focus korchilen je evidence based medicine for covid 19 so far so apnara so far amader ei onar je key note er upor jodi kono question thake apnara question korte paren amra gradually dhire shomoy thakle amra facebook live thekeo kichu question nite pari so amra prothome amader jara participants doctor achen bangladesh theke amra apnaderke bolbo apnara Uh, either you can raise hands or toba you can unmute yourself and then uh, raise your question ashakori shobai shunte peyechen naki um okay amake shona jacche to dr moyel acha acham bhai apnake shona jacche যেটা বলছিলাম so heparin yes so they have to be some sort of uh, some they have to be on some sort of anticoagulation and so with the if uh, the heparin is like a apnar buy one get one offer amato so it has some effect on uh, immune suppression as well uh jeta naki dekha jacche je dekha low molecular weight heparin promotes endothelial cell undergoing necrosis uh, tumor necrosis factor so and they also suppress some sort of uh, uh, interleukins as well so it's kind of buy one get one offer okay and anyway, so this is a who guideline which came out like amra kalke email peyechi so who recommend prophylactic dose of heparin uh, in adult as lucent but you know it differs amader trust jemon amra introduce koichi that is treatment dose for first two weeks then we gradually step down to uh, prophylactic dose and there's some other hematological assessment guideline uh, so it it depends but they have to be on some sort of anticoagulation even if you look at the death and even amader ekhano je patient gula sudden death hoyeche ebong autopsy te dekha jay most of them like the majority of them had uh, pulmonary emboli so this is important steroids so steroid me amra shobai what like should i word so we are using steroid like a told uh you have to uh, quantify the risk of your patient je apne kokhon steroid introduce korben so then again the age score comes in hand je apne jodi dekhen je high age score ebong they are you know if someone has a high age score that means they're sick 
এবং তারা তাদের ইমিউন রেসপন্স উইদ ইন নেক্সট কাপল অফ আওয়ার্স ইভেন এক্সারেট করতে পারে অ্যান্ড দে ক্যান হ্যাভ লাইক ম্যাসিভ ইমিউন সাইটোল কাইন্ড স্টর্ম and so we need to bear in mind that so amra jeta korchi like at all like if someone has a age score of more than 170 we introduce to the, introduce them some sort of uh, steroids like methyl pred amra jeta use korte si but dexamethasone amra use kore si but it's part of our recovery trial uh, but if someone is on dexamethasone uh, amra methyl pred use kori nai so yeah so you have to balance amra apnar ki dite chan so methyl pred amra jeta bole amra je dose ta use kore 1 mg per kilo uh per day infusion eh, for first seven days the next seven days amra uh, half half dose day then we reassess the patient clinically and the age scoring and we'll see how it's going but steroids ekhono eta guideline e ashe nai but it's under trial okay so this is a uk paper so era bolte se je uh, uh steroid er benefit ta ki so দেখা গেছে যে আর্লি প্রো ইনফ্লামেটরি রেসপন্স কন্ট্রোল দে আর কোয়াইট এফেক্টিভ বাট হাও এভার ইটস নট ইন দ্য গাইডলাইন হচ্ছে so ha so randomized trial jeta bollam je era ashole non intubated patient just not classical uh, critical patient to open for any but you know you know so most of the papers they become more debatable because uh, the trials that that they already published hoyeche that are non critical patient but the results are variable uh, most of them are promising but ejon uh, amra we cannot confidently say je ekta critical patient er upor your steroid will work better so the current guideline who does not suggest put them on steroid as man jokhon hospital ashe but that's why i'm bolam je you have to assess the patient clinically before starting them just rather than just uh, jumping on the steroid because you know steroid have other complications apne kaise ke generalized immune suppress kore dicche man kaise ke aro samne ga dicche infection nawar jonno dekha jacche tara hoyto covid e morbe na but otherwise they will have some secondary bacterial infection or some other infection so be very uh, cautious on that but of course apne use korte hole korben na kono obosshoi korben all right then we come to the role of antibacterials so kono evidence nai che because it's a, it's a viral disease so antibacterial will not affect on covid virus but you can start for some prophylactic uh, secondary measures like to prevent secondary infection or bacterial co infection jeta dekha geche je first er dike when didn't we didn't have any guideline amra start korlam uh, with um, piperacillin tazobactam uh, regime de but eventually dekha gelo je a patient gula there's no change in inflammatory markers you know like crp or uh, white cell they were jumping and up i'm going to change the meropenamon ilam next week but kono inform kono improvement hona so then we just found that like you know, there's no point because maybe they're not having any bacterial infection their rising crp rising inflammatory markers rising cytokines it is solely related to the virus and eventually it's a paper of bear holo je ha we were like we were right uh, and uh, এবং দের আর ফিউ অ্যান্টিবায়োটিক্স যেমন আমরা খুব কমনলি বাংলাদেশ ইউজ করি ক্যাফালোস্পোরিন সো ক্যাফালোস্পোরিন হ্যাজ এ ভেরি নেগেটিভ ইম্প্যাক্ট অন ব্যাকটেরিয়াল ইনফেকশন লাইক যদি ইন অ্যাবসেন্স অফ এ ব্যাকটেরিয়াল ইনফেকশন ক্যাফালোস্পোরিন ক্যান অ্যাক্টিভেট ইন্টেলিকেন সিক্স অ্যান্ড এইট যেটা নাকি আমাদের ইউনো কোভিডের রাইট হ্যান্ড রাইট উইং হিসেবে কাজ করতেছে সো উই শুড নট ইউ নো জাস্ট জাম্প অন কেফ ট্রাইক্স অন স্ট্রেট অ্যাওয়ে ইউনো and uh, also ciprofloxacin is excuse me you have uh, just act a quickly question uh, i need to touch it um, uh, dr monel like if you have a question mm-hmm, sure. sorry to interfere here no uh, no no that's okay amar je jigesha seta holo ashole ekhon medicine ma drugs ni amra je poriman report dite chhi bangladesh e ebong amra hope ta এবং 
awareness is always important amar kache jeta mona hoy if you can prevent why do you need to cure them kintu already jara affected ekhon mone kore apnar kache ekta je patient ta ashlo you have to treat them so so we need to focus on the drugs at the same time we need to aware the patients relatives and you know all the hospital staffs to how to uh, prevent this cross infection so i think uh, it should be both je dui tai apnader ke parallel amader kora uchit je amra medicine medicine niye focus korbo ebong we should make up guidelines je amra kibhabe nijeder personal protection ta ensure korbo i think uh, Uh, I think we should have a very big discussion on that at some time, some point. If it is answered, अपना uh, uh, to participants doctors, अपना अपना जो कोनो question था क्ले अपना just uh, there is a button like raise hands. Either you can click on that button or तो बा अपना unmute करे प्रश्न कोट्टे पहन. Why do we are continuing? Um, Should After, we? Uh, yeah, we can continue. Okay, that's good. Then. So almost uh, I'm at the end. So azithromycin. So that's how it was. Just when the COVID first started, so we jumped on azithromycin. We jumped on uh, hydroxychloroquine. So it's a microlyte, a solely antibacterial agent. So I just want to make uh, be very clear. Azithromycin has no, uh, I mean, like doesn't have any significant effect on controlling the virus. what azithromycin does it has a synergistic effect with hydroxychloroquine so azithromycin is not the drug of choice for treating um uh, covid okay but dakha uh, gets a it has some antiviral effect jeta naki solely in vitro in laboratories but real life uh, in uh, real patient i don't think uh, it's uh, it's a choiceable drug so that's why it's not in guideline but uh, yeah it has some synergistic effect with hydroxychloroquine so this is a pharmacological paper so ora ekhane bolte chaiche je basically uh, era uh, they alter the ph of the cell and that's how they inhibit the endocytosis of the uh, of the virus that's how it prevent viral entry and prevent infection but you know that's it's in the mouse that's not in human body so there's no clear evidence so azithromycin has antiviral effect on a uh, human body okay and so it am yaga bollam je cephalosporin and other drug era immune exaggeration korte pare and uh, other management so uh, there are newer uh, in newer drugs are coming up jemon uh, anti c3 uh, cytosorb uh, then how say using immunized patient sera plasma exchange uh egloshobi ekhon ashtese but these are all under clinical trial and all under they all fall in the same roof they uh, they are try to control uh, immune response so millions of papers are publishing every day so we amra jodi for further discussion amra chete chai but these are all broad topics jodi na meta anlam na so things to look for so you know this is a very panic situation abong uh, panic situation it's easy to make mistakes and easy to miss out points but i think always uh, we should always stick to a very basic uh, baseline je amra jokhon ekta patient ashbo we should look for the clear signs for respiratory distress or any other uh, disorders like apnara jeta bollen je most of the patient comes with uh, diarrhea so we have to have a proper history and progression because the, this is a flu season it could be other flus as well it could be food poisoning as well at the non covid patient diarrhea ni ashlo amra take bhorti kore take covid expose kore take te hoto covid ni ashlo take bashay gelo covid ni this is happening so eta even ekhano hocche ei desho hocche because it's a panic situation shobai ekto conscious over conscious we have to bear in mind so what are the possible complications the first thing is microemboli i think that's a major cause of death for all of these patients pe they can have they are having strokes they are having renal infarct they are having splenic infarct you name the organ they are having they are going everywhere so they have to be on anticoagulation some sort 
you have to look for jeta uh, der exerted immune response ho chekina because this is the way to death the immune cytokine storm or activation of all these uh, nasty things so just look for the evidence score them h score uh, apna jo jana i can email it to you h scoring the or it's is available in uh, internet h scoring kore check the blood check the crp kichu na pore just do a crp crp is very evident and that uh, they can that there kono clinical marks ache kina vasculitis they have vasculitis they am amra jeta peyechi ei non mane post extubation ei patient kula they are presenting with encephalitis they are having uh, myocarditis so patient hoto amono ashe ja amono na i mean like majority that the troponin raise thakteche so is affecting the heart lungs of course they're altering the liver function so be very cautious of giving the drugs so liver function bhule gela hobe na the renal function you have to monitor the renal function check the urine output if possible uh, think of uh, filtration monitor the blood gases which is really important blood gas kore uh, you can find out that the metabolic status the ss kore and just think accordingly take steps accordingly and you should have a very low threshold for referring these patients to higher centers and you know you have to save their life if they need intubation you have to intubate them if they need filter you have to filter them but we have very low threshold for this you should not take chances but at the same time don't take any hasty decisions and don't, don't make mistakes because this is a time i'm not going to make a mistake for you i mean ensure our major organ support so you have to assess them from top to bottom every day because their feature gula khub rapidly develop kore ebon hato ekta patient aske very aware gcs is 15 the next day you see they are having the gcs is 5 which is amra i mean nije chokhe dekhechi so this these things are happening ebon kidney lung all the major organs even even there there are few reported cases that are end up thalmitis hoyeche because of covid virus this only few one two but there are there so you have you know you have to assess every system every day and take measures every day i know we have very limited resources but we have to fight whatever we have so uh, yeah so these are few resources um i mean kind of they are just over here i can uh, email the slide to shamim and shamim i think you can spread it to you if you want for further reading uh on the last one you can see uh this is one of our consultant here so he kind of uh, wrote a guideline uh in in perspective of bangladesh situation so i think this is a very handy book you can go through uh it, it gives you a guideline how you should go with limited resources it's a pretty good one so these are the references i used and uh, yeah self protection is always our priority uh, remember you have a family you have to go to someone at the end of your shift so in pandemic you don't need to be hero but you can be hero save others but don't uh, go or treat any patient without any appropriate precautions it's a request humble request to all of you and this is the hospital i work in royal papert hospital and thank you very much shobai ke oshongho dhonnobad and i'm really sorry i'm onek time niye felechi uh on to so you shami yeah it's all right uh, thank you doctor uh, so much ajan bhai so uh amra so now we want to open it for like everyone amra jodi apnader question na thake amra apnader experience shunte chaibo uh, we are almost at the end of our session আমি যদি কিউ আমি রাসেন কে একটা জিনিস জিজ্ঞেস করতে চাই আর অ্যাকচুয়ালি জিজ্ঞেস করতে চাচ্ছি মানে বেসিকলি ব্যাপারটা হচ্ছে যে ও মনে হয় আইসিইউ তে কাজ করে তো এখানে ও অ্যান্টি কোয়াগুলেশন এর ব্যাপারে একটা গাইডলাইন দিল যে থেরাপিউটিক ডোজেস অফ ইউ নো অ্যান্টি কোয়াগুলেশন এখানে আমি একটা ছোট জিনিস বলতে চাই যে not everyone needs a therapeutic dose well আমার ডিস্টার্ব আমাদের যেটা আমাদের ট্রাস্টে বা আমাদের হসপিটালে গাইডলাইন হচ্ছে যে ইফ देयर ইজ ইফ देयर नॉट ইন আইসিইউ देयर ইজ লাইক ইউ নো ইন স্টেপ ডাউন আমাদের কাছে হাই স্ট্রিটে আসে না সো 
we anticoagulate them for two weeks. And the two weeks we give full anticoagulation and then uh, we step down. But I think there are other hospitals in UK that are just called the baseline, just prophylactic and uh, anticoagulation, which like, you know, like any hospital, they don't need DVT or VT prophylaxis day. But in mm-hmm. Amra, Amra to very precautious. I'm not sure we the lung center though. मिजोरी हॉस्पिटल antigoagulation seta heparin hote pare seta low molecular weight heparin hote pare sorry amar bachcha amar pashe it's all right but that being said uh, i agree with uh, rasin for sure that any patients who are going to the icu or sick enough that mane at least physically looking very sick they should be on therapeutic doses of lovenex escalation ta kora uchit shei sob patient er khetre ebong any patient who has a d dimer of more than 6000 i think they are recommending towards starting uh, lovenox yeah. one of the things that we are seeing is uh, these patients are having dic like syndrome so it's not actually dic in case of dic you get a lot of bleeding here you get a lot of clotting so uh, these patients need uh, you know you can safely use uh, uh, this anticoagulations whether it's a uh, therapeutic or prophylactic definitely documented dvt or pe thakle to definitely you have to start them on therapy there's no question about it but even people who are like sick enough they should also be started on this medications that's why we are recommending jokhon amra initially patient ke admit korte si at least dic panel ta jodi check kori which consists of fibrinogen d dimer pt aptt all those things shei jodi jodi check kori tale we will understand je what's the baseline এবং পরবর্তীতে যদি আমরা প্রগনোস্টিক মার্কারস হিসেবে এগুলো চেক করতে থাকি উই ক্যান কাইন্ড অফ সি whether the patient is going towards uh, the wrong direction and we can escalate the therapy আর আরেকটা জিনিস হচ্ছে ফর দিস پیشنটস হাউ লং ইউ শুড কন্টিনিউ সো উই আর ফর দ্য پیشنটস হু আর অন হু আর বিইং অন থেরাপিউটিক ডোজেস উই আর টেলিং देम টু অ্যাকচুয়ালি কন্টিনিউ ইট ফর 3 মান্থস আর যারা নাকি जिथ्रोमाइसिनेंस <laughs> हॉस्पिटल So I think we should develop a culture because uh, uh, another on a hospital unnoticed death is due to you know undiagnosed PEs or any sort of anti uh, emboli uh, events. So I think uh, this is the best time to introduce this culture at the same time. And uh, you know, you get the way you said that I don't I don't know you on no desho kotha, but ekhane ekta patient jo kono hospital le admitted hoy. they have to be on prophylactic anticoagulation uh reason is they are not mobilized if they are going for surgery they are exposed for more you know procoagulation so they should be on some sort of anticoagulation yeah um amader arekta question of course ache like from dr aisha husain um dr aisha husain like you are on unmute you can ask your question hello 
হ্যালো হ্যাঁ শুনতে পাচ্ছি আপনাকে জি ভাই আমার একটা কোশ্চেন হলো যদি কোনো پیشنটের সেকেন্ডারি ব্যাকটেরিয়াল ইনফেকশন থাকে আমাদের দেশে যেটা কমন প্রবলেম হচ্ছে যে ব্যাকটেরিয়াল রেজিস্ট্যান্স প্রচুর থাকে দেখা যায় যে মেরোপেনাম ছাড়া আর কোনো গুলাই তার ক্ষেত্রে সেনসিটিভ না সেই ক্ষেত্রে সেই پیشنটকে কি দিয়ে ট্রিট করতে হবে আচ্ছা কি অ্যান্টিবায়োটিক আচ্ছা uh okay so uh first of all you have to find out whether the patient has a bacterial infection or not amra j protocol ta kori i think everyone should do j you should see a procalcitonin but uh eta sob jagay ashole somvob na procalcitonin kora ta so uh i think uh you have to check out the sensitivity if someone is spiking temperature you should do a culture a full septic screening ebong uh you have to find out the sensitivity which one is the best one because unfortunately amader deshe shob mane amra eto exposed to antibiotic amader kichu hole pet kharap holo amra cipro metro khacchi so you know uh, these things are unfortunately it's not right yeah. so i think uh, we should have a proper discussion with our microbiological association whether they want to you know be active on these things or not uh, ebong uh, at the same time uh, apnake you know i cannot uh, give you a specific antibiotic which one is the best one for your patient you have to find out that are kon tate sensitive kon tate resistance if they are sensitive to doxycycline not to meropenem i think that's best for them amader ekhane baseline hocche amra start on back, uh, doxycycline then we step up to diptaz amoxicillin and all that but i think i think uh, you know uh, this is it is the mother of uh, invention creation jeta bola hoy so i think uh, amader doctor uh, if they take it as a positive thing they can bring up a lot of culture in our practice jemon involvement of microbiologists this is very important in this case ha je jemon apne amake je question ta korlen sadia je antibiotic i think the a microbiologist is the best one to guide you je apne ekhon kon antibiotic should be appropriate for or whether this patient need an antibiotic or not pharmacist er ekhane ekta very important role je ekta patient ke ami ekta antibiotic dibo whether it is suitable for him or not je tar liver function dekhe tar ya dekhe which one is suitable for him she can suggest so i think uh, this is the culture we can make make now so uh, yes unfortunately uh, we have to deal what we have kintu you know apne or your personal uh, from personal interest apne kono microbiologist ke kotha আমি একটা এখানে জিনিস অ্যাড করতে চাই মেরোপেনাম কিন্তু একটা ক্লাস অফ অ্যান্টিবায়োটিক্স ইটস আ ব্রড স্পেকট্রাম অ্যান্টিবায়োটিক বাট ইট হ্যাজ লিমিটেশনস একটা জিনিস মনে রাখতে হবে যে সব پیشنট ইনটিউবেটেড দে আর ভেরি হাই রিস্ক ফর গেটিং মারসা ইনফেকশন মেথোসিন রেজিস্ট্যান্ট স্ট্যাফোরিয়াস হুইচ মেরোপেনাম হ্যাজ নো এফেক্ট সো দ্যাটস হোয়াই ক্যাপসুলস গুলো বিফোর ইউ স্টার্ট অ্যান অ্যান্টিবায়োটিক মেক শিওর ইউ ড্র আ ব্লাড কালচার blood culture to draw color but if it comes out as something like marsa tumi meropenam dicho it won't work at all karan hoyte se meropenam has very poor coverage for marsa infections she can have a simple clindamycin if it is a hospital acquired she can clindamycin ka kaj korbe na it has to be vancomycin othoba linazolid othoba you know adaptomycin adaptomycin so yeah. you have to know which antibiotics you are using or what सबारेसर ग्राम Uh, 
I'm with Bezosin. So you can do those medications. To the analytic coverage, theta high, you can do flagell, you can do, um, you know, if it Metro. is, you can do yeah. Plinda, uh, you can do uh, Zosin, uh, Tizo, Pepto, well. So these are antibiotics. Cephalosporin, you should not be using cephalosporins for patients who has, um, you know, who has um, uh, COVID. Uh, host, uh, community care pneumonia protocol cephalosporin plus azithromycin but doxycycline but so then you have to think out of the box you have to do other antibodies you have to do meropenem plus meropenem delay you have to do other antibodies you have to do other participants have no experience to the umbra shouldn't be the hotel with a hello to have no you can take a John Kurich and QQ up with an experience here could take him. No, it's about Russia. Now the program is like them. She's for Jay to list you. Any anyone wants to come up with experience how up with it almost to the opera medicine con medicine will keep you scorching. Come on rather but you need to make no experience of pressure for the time. আমার একটা কোশ্চেন আছে যে ঢাকা ঢাকা বেস হসপিটাল গুলাতে কারেন্টলি হোয়াট ইজ দা বেসলাইন ট্রিটমেন্ট দে আর স্টার্টিং নাও আমি যেটা একটু বলতে চাই আর কি যে আমার প্র্যাকটিক্যাল এক্সপেরিয়েন্স যেটা বলছি আর কি যে যদি আমরা আমি পাশা থেকেই একজন এলডারলি পিপল কে ট্রিট করছি একজন ইয়ং মানুষ কে ট্রিট করছি একজন মিডল এজ কে ট্রিট করছি এই যে কত তাসিন ভাই আর প্রফেসর মাহবুব one of the reason is guidelines and we could be corporate for the moment a personal observation as a camera is it from I seen by myself could treat could the same I'm really on a question can now what is a epic how the organic I'm only kind here come quite a case I'm with a see I'm on I'm ready to balance you already it I could see on a key recognized could say them the bus at for we can they killed it could they worry so I had a personal observation is it from I think bully I'm the actor at the Indian patient case from I think this year at the patient cover some rock I'm also seen a club in case it this is in time it has fun to take love J do to have three I thought about do it in the for fever to subside for it I can look after continue for it I won't it I can do is it through my scene upon I'm also saying club in a case it did a three same money I'm really it's nice and they were I'm also saying club in a case it to the day I mean they club there car for it over subside for enough fever to subside for a day तो ये विषय एक आमर पर्सनल ऑब्जर्वेशन है वो एकदम प्रैक्टिकल ऑब्जर्वेशन है कि आज के आम एक टा पेशेंट को ऑलरेडी ढाका मेडिकल कॉलेज में पढ़ाई सी जा बात है आमी ऑलरेडी अपना उनारा एम सिसिने क्लबों में किसी प्राय पांच दिन कैसे मतलब जोर किंतु दिनों दिन थे कि सब सेक्स करेगे से किंतु काप्ता � একই অবজারভেশন আমরা যে যে বদ্রলোককে এলডারলি যে پیشنটাকে আমরা ইনফ্লুয়েসেন্ট দিয়ে ট্রিট করছি ওনারও জ্বর প্রায় দুই তিন দিনের পর ভালো হয়ে গেছে কিন্তু ওনার এটা ডে অফ 7 অর 8 ওনার হঠাৎ করে রেসপিরেটরি ডিসটেজ দেখা গেছে আমার মনে হয় যে আমার আমার ক্লিনিক্যাল এক্সপেরিয়েন্স বলে যে এই রেসপিরেটরি ট্র্যাক্ট যে কোনো ইয়ে দিলে অ্যান্টিবায়োটিক দিলে इवन দো আই থিংক সো যে এটা প্যারাসিটামলের কারণে হয়তো ফিভারটা সাবসাইড করে গেছে would be the red sign is cough in our personal experience that is how you know my experience as I thought she was going to share with you so I'm not going to want to eat any umbrella to cast with the body in a day as the antibiotic is going to make key if you want to subset could take over that's in a parasite on the camera subset could that's a bomb auto antibiotic the answer one of his hike in a bomb काप्ता के हमरा कोनो एवं कोनो ड्राफ्ट सा सेकी ना जेटा के जे ड्राफ्ट दे ट्रीट कुल्ले हमरा काप्ता सब सेट कुत्ते वाले। राइट। सो फर्स्ट ऑफ़ ऑल वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट आउट अशुद्ध एंटीबायोटिक के दौर का टास है की ना। एंड यू नो लाइक एनी वायरल फ्लू आम तो जोखन वायरल फ्लू है अनु तो तमुन this is the first point. Does he need an antibiotic? And then, then comes to, comes to the role of antibiotic, whether it is appropriate for or, or not. I mean, uh, the azithromycin doesn't have any role on the on cough. Either. There's a common uh, practice Bangladesh that say cough only azithromycin, azithindin. That's fine. I don't know what's the uh, 
uh, how does it work on controlling cough. But I think the, the main important thing in introducing an antibiotic is prevention of secondary bacterial infection. So I want to know how until the patient is, uh, you know, showing signs of, you know, bacterial infection, like persistently fever, say productive cough, or uh, greenish color, the change of color cough for for seven days, then I think we can introduce. And uh, so I'm not sure whether the role of antibiotic here is appropriate or not. But yeah, then you can introduce an antibiotic. This is just, uh, just an, uh, you know, uh, uh, suggestion. The second thing is the cough. So, you know, this is an inflammatory condition of lung itself. Uh, so if you have seen any bronchoscopy of these patients, this is a full of thick tenacious, tenacious secretion, very thick whitish secretions. They are very prone to, uh, you know, cough out this stuff. I mean, just that a cough bear hoyage be, the secretion gula bear hoyage be. I think that's good. Slight amount of non-productive cough is not bad because it's, uh, you know, it's a body protective uh, response. So I think uh, unless they are becoming tired, I think we can uh, just carry on like just a baseline uh, symptomatic uh, conservatively. And there are a lot of cough syrups, antihistamines you can use uh, for uh, secretions. But I think the better the cough, these secretions come out, that their saturation level halo have. Even amono dahagetse, the our experience, the at a patient had a saturation baseline with the normal Hudson mask at 95, 96. Within six hours, the patient saturation dropped to 86 percent and. So we intubated the patient because they're out of uh, hypoxia, hypercarbic hotzilo. So we did a bronch, bronchoscopy, and you know, it's full of white secretion. So we took out the secretion and his saturation picked up to like, you know, 95, 98. So, you know, better the secretions comes out, it's good for him. Then again, monorakta uh, is the aerosol generating disease. So if he should not cough in front of everyone, it should go somewhere private or, you know, it should, it should come out literally without affecting anyone else. I'm going to catch someone who have a rag don't stress for the to list camera. I mean, so I don't know what the actual could say. And special thanks to Dr. Samuel Shadden for making time for my pleasure. I mean, I'm really delighted to be in this platform. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Jaranaka. Uh, I'm really happy to be contacted uh, just in case if you need any help or any guideline or how we are treating here in UK, what are our hospital guidelines, I'm happy to share. So I mean, I'm going our email address. So just in case if anyone needs to be in touch, I'm happy to be contacted. Thank you again. And also a special thanks to Dr. Tassin Mustak, uh, and to all the doctor participants. Asha uh, we all be here to fight this uh, COVID-19 and we will do it uh, soon, inshallah. inshallah. And thank you everyone again. We are done over here. And thank you. that's all from our side. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.